Alright, YouTubers, we got an unboxing. I told you if I kept on raining at my bass spot, I was going to have to get a boat. So, I went and got a boat. Never had one, so um, I just went all in. And this is the uh, Pro Boat Blackjack 29. <clears throat> They're up to the V3 version. This is a... Uh, this is one that the guy, you know, he's in the boats and he had a bunch of boats and he built this. <clears throat> so it was just a shelf queen. And uh, he said he moved into a smaller place, so he was getting rid of it. So it's got the DX2E Spectrum remote. And he was cool enough to even leave batteries. So that was awesome. And um two brand new fifty C three cell batteries because this is six S com cap compatible. Now um the new V three version Everything's the same except the inside. Um, instead of using wood construction, this is a, this is all fiberglass. This boat they have um, it's plastic now. So the original is a dynamite 2000 kV motor and a dynamite 120 amp ESC, which um, all the videos <clears throat> since I've been waiting for this to come in. I've been looking it up and they just get rid of that dynamite um, motor and ESC and upgrade them anyhow. So, uh, yeah, this guy, everything was already upgraded, so I'm all good to go. It, it's a brand new haul. Let me get rid of this. And he even gave me um, hockey tape to tape the hatch closed, so you don't get water in there. And I already unboxed it. It was it was all wrapped in plastic. And um, I'll show you the underneath. This hasn't seen any. It's a brand now. I have to get a little carrying thing for it. here for now so um let's see Open this hatch up it's got it's got a hobby wing 180 amp um c king esc this is like one of their best escs they got out there and um, here's the other lipo in there. He has these. He has them like zip tied in there. I guess that's for storage. Like I said, I never had a boat, so he has these two zip ties. One was floating around, but I'll figure out a way to put them in there. Cause you got to be able to adjust them forward or backwards for um, what you're running. But. It's got a uh, 18, 1800, 1800 kV Leopard hobby motor. And um, <clears throat> all the videos I've seen when they're updating these and getting them to like 55, 60 mile an hour, they're putting this um, Hobby Wing Sea King and this big ass motor in there. <clears throat> Now what else is nice is uh, this Connect Racing water intake tube. So he has this updated. And then I guess it goes into here after it cools through the water cooler jacket. Comes out and then goes into the ESC and then exits. So um... It's uh, a Spectrum MR200 receiver. So, 
I don't know. He's got this tape down. This is the antenna. So, I'm pretty sure it's a good one. The servo, I tried it out. And that's a Dynamite uh, 3900 servo. So, I'm sure that's like a stock servo. But, it looks like he added um, all the sealant stuff. And there's like a fiberglass mesh under here. Because, um... He said it was something that he built. So apparently um, he just bought this hall and canopy and then built it himself with all the electronics. You know what I mean? So yeah, I'm all in on this baby. And I got another, I had to buy another boat. I bought another one for a rescue boat. And um, this is all this right here, this grease, that's splattered out because I tested it. Make sure it all worked when it came in. Came in yesterday. But yeah, it's clean, badass. Now, anybody that um knows about these things, comment. But uh, here's the back prop. Here's the back prop, it's a uh, metal, and then this um, intake tube, looks like it has a big hole for the water to come in. I don't know if it's drilled out, or if it's, um, it's an updated one, or what, because that's all stainless, and the other ones used to be like black anodized, like the... Arma um, shock towers. They're all black anodized and this is all stainless so I'm not sure. And I guess this is a little drain plug to look into it. But yeah, works good. I tested it real quick. And um, we'll see what we'll we'll see what's up. But yeah, anybody that knows anything about these boats, let me know. Um I know I got a good deal because just a motor and ESC costs more than what I paid for this thing. So, and he gave me two brand new batteries, Venom. So, the brand new receiver and controller, brand new hull and canopy. And then all of this shit is brand new. You can tell it hasn't hit water because there would be some scrapes or something on it. And uh, yeah, I picked it up. It was two seventy five, shipped to the house. It was crazy. My wife was not happy, but I told her, "Hey, look, I can't pass it up for that. You can't even get a freaking toy grade one for that price." So. Um, yeah, I uh, I emailed that guy after I got it in and thanked him. Everything was like he said, and it, it kicked right on. So um, you know, obviously you don't run it long without water, but I just wanted to test it. So I plugged in the batteries real quick, and let's see, I'll give you a quick one. Plugged in the batteries and tested it out. It was really loud though. I don't know. But I guess when it's in water, it's not supposed to be so loud. The receiver is on. That's it. I'm gonna have to look at this uh, 
this is a flex shaft, so I guess it's supposed to just go into here. That's why just grease flicks around. As they say, after every every run, you're supposed to undo these two collars right here and pull out the shaft, re-grease it, and then stick it back in. So, but yeah, it works. That's all that matters to me. Next video you see of this is going to be in the water. So, like I said, I have. I gotta charge these all the way anyhow. So. I have um another boat coming for like a rescue boat in case this flips over. And what that one is, is the, I think it's a Pro Boat 2. It's a Pro Boat 26. Um, yeah, let me see if it's on my phone. It's called the Pro Boat 26. And it's like a, one that you can flip back over. Yeah, it's right here. Pro Boat Recoil 26. 150 bucks. So... I think they're like two ninety nine, and um, comes with a little three S battery. Yeah, so I just won that one on the bid too. So that's a uh, hundred fifty bucks, and that one uh, uprates itself when you flip it over. This thing. Is all out. I think they have them clocked at 50, 60 miles an hour. And, um, yeah, they get air on their own, then they flip up. So, apparently, you, um, you lock it down like this, and then throw the hockey tape on there to seal it up. Keep the extra water out, you know. As long as you keep the water out, I'm not minding this wood. Because the new version, the V3 version, instead of having the wood, it's um, it's all plastic. It's some kind of ABS plastic or whatnot. And um, I guess they were having problems with, like, I guess if water came in, the wood was um, soaking it up. But as I was reading on it, a lot of people tell you just to throw a piece of um, cotton in these corners. So if it does get any water in there, the cotton sucks it up, and then the water doesn't slosh around and um, make your boat offset, you know what I mean, from the water sloshing. But I'm just going to tape it up anyhow, so I figure what the hell. I'll throw the tape on there, and then no water's going to get in there. I guess some water might come in through the prop right here, but I don't see that too much happening. So, that's it. Um, that's basically it. I gotta, I have somebody, um, hopefully he watches this and then leaves a comment that has boats. I went and subscribed to him when I knew I had this coming, and he has one of these, so... This um, motor right here, as you can see, it's sleeved all the way out. So um, let me know, because I'm going to go on the form or whatever, if this is supposed to be slid down to where this collar sleeves in there, which I'm probably thinking it should, because that has scrape marks. So, um, yeah. I mean, I'm thinking that that collar should be sleeved into there so you don't see the that flex line and then the grease will stay in there. But if I do push it down anymore, I think this will come out. So, 
I don't know. Um, I don't know if I have to grind grind this flex shaft down so that works or what. So yeah, leave a comment if you can. Anybody out there who knows anything about these boats? So, but yeah, the it's supposed to be a good boat. It's supposed to be fast. And um, I have the other one coming for recovery. I'm just gonna hook a string on to it with um, like an empty uh, bottle or something. So then this way you just drive around this and then it'll pick it up and pull it back in offshore. And I got for little Anthony, <laughs> um, I got him a F12. A feline F12. That thing is f fast, man. It's a fast little sucker, and uh, that's a self uprighting one too. But I guess it's only really small. So I got that for him. So we'll get out on the water, see what's up, play around for a little bit, try something new. Um, you know, I will always do my cars. I got them all, half of them right there, all the rest are out in the garage, so. But, yeah, I got a video, I got a post of the crate in on that stone pile, and I'll post that. But I figured this came in, let me do a quick video. Well, I know it wasn't too quick, but. Alright guys, I'm out.